Most of America's richest citizens are staying silent on X, formerly Twitter, about the election, but some are very vocal indeed. As votes rolled in showing Donald Trump poised to retake the White House, some of his fellow conservative billionaires rallied on X. Some were celebratory, like crypto billionaire Tyler Winklevoss, who posted that we are on the brink of a new American renaissance. Some began offering explanations for Trump's surge, like surrogate and former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, who claimed that voters are rejecting censorship, lawfare, and dishonesty. America is a nation of builders, Elon Musk, the world's richest man, posted on X, the social media platform he owns, at 11.50 p.m. Tuesday night, hours before the Associated Press called the presidential race in Donald Trump's favor. Writing from Mar-a-Lago, where he was spending election night with Trump, he added, Soon you will be free to build. Still, others were impatient with the networks. It's absurd that CNN refuses to call states that have clearly been won by Donald Trump, hedge fund manager Bill Ackman wrote at 11.40 p.m., even as millions of votes remained outstanding across the then uncalled states in the Rust Belt, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada. Liberal billionaires, meanwhile, seemed largely silent, a change from earlier on election day. LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman posted a video at 5 p.m. Eastern declaring that, this election isn't about minor policy disagreements, it's about truth versus fiction, the rule of law versus chaos, and democracy versus fascism. Businessman Mark Cuban, who would hit the campaign trail for Harris, wrote that he was having a blast FaceTiming students waiting in long lines at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, adding that voting for Kamala Harris is worth it. Some of the most negative posts about Trump came from Democratic Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, venture capitalist Vinod Kosla, and Mark Cuban of Shark Tank fame. Although as of Wednesday morning, Cuban has deleted his only pro-Harris post. The only post hinting disappointment at the results of the election came from billionaire MailChimp co-founder Ben Chestnut, who lives in Georgia, a swing state that flipped red yesterday. For more on this story, check out Kyle Kahn Mullins and Phoebe Liu's article in the link in the description.